Not in the arm, it's gonna hurt too much. In the hip then. And here's a secret. Take your finger and thumb, press them together. When it goes in, the harder it goes, the more it hurts, the more you squeeze. Ready? It's that simple. One, two, three. Piece of cake, right? <sighs> All set. Thank you, Dr. Jekyll. I'll pay yeah. you when I can. Don't worry about it. It's a tin roof. A tin roof? Mm -hmm. It's on the house. Thank you. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before, and everyone was an Henry, Henry. She wouldn't have a Willie nor a Sam. No, Sam, I'm a eighth old man, I'm Henry. Henry the Eighth, I am. Second verse, where is my nurse? She'll be in in a minute. Oh, thank you. What did you want to talk to me about, Henry? Well, I think, um,. I think maybe we should postpone our wedding. Postpone it? Well, we're both so busy, you with your robotics work, me with my research. Research or quackery. What was that, dear? Nothing. Well, something to think about anyway. Nobody puts me off. Nobody does that to me. What was that? Gotta continue the work of Henry the First. It's your destiny, man. Uh, people would think me mad. Since when do you care what people think? I don't care, Lanny. Lana does. Lana. Uh, you mad genius. Great grandpa Henry. What have you got in store for me in these notes of yours? Like many men, the worst of my faults is my desire to play the field. This, of course, is a natural desire. It ensures the survival of our species. However, our Victorian society curses this desire as if it were unnatural. We men are supposed to conceal our true nature and be monogamous as if we were beavers. Rather than behave as men, we are expected to behave like lowly rodents. We are expected to suppress our natural pleasures. If unable to suppress them, we are expected to conceal them. This is the grand hypocrisy of our time. If man desires to live a natural life, man must live a double life. However, a double life by definition is an unnatural life. It takes a fast car to lead a double life. At the time of my namesake, it must have taken a very fast carriage indeed. If I'm to be able to hold my head high, I'm expected to fight my nature, to fight all of human nature to hold any and all sense of nature with a sense of shame. This is my dilemma, the dilemma of an otherwise good man. If only man could separate his natural instincts from the unnatural behaviors that society demands of him, 
Society makes hypocrites of us all. We must fight our human nature, our base instincts, for the survival of our species if we are to be deemed as good men and be held in high esteem. With every day, I advance nearer to the elusive truth, the reality that man is not one person, he is truly two. I am no hypocrite. Both sides of me are as earnest as they are natural. Yet to be the good man that society demands I be, I must suppress the naturalness in me. Nay, I must extract it from my very being. To allow these two beings to coexist in me is like two engines that steam toward each other on the same track. A great train wreck is inevitable. My scientific studies lead me toward the segregation of the two natures of myself. My primal nature and my societal nature. Man must be at least two. Maybe he's more. My limited research has revealed these two internal beings. Hopefully, others will follow me. If they do, maybe they will uncover more than the duality of man. Perhaps some earnest genius will discover a plurality in man's nature. It may be a hundred or two hundred years from now. Maybe someday, when we discover all of the inner beings of man, we will be able to control each of them. No closer than he was. All this time later, all the advances in science and medicine, no closer to segregating, even finding, much less removing, what society deems to be the evil in man. No closer at all. to you, Gramps. I'm Eddie the Eighth, I am. Eddie the Eighth, I am, I am. I shagged the old widow next door. Shagged her 700 times or more. And every time she cried, Eddie boy, Eddie boy, she wouldn't shag a Willie or a Sam. No, Sam! I'll shag her 800 times, I'm Eddie boy. Eddie the Eighth, I am. Second verse, drive up the hearse. Looks like rain. Well, into every life a little rain must fall. True, true. You a family man, Mr. Carew? Have we met? The name is Hyde, Edward Hyde. Oh, yes, Mr. Hyde. Yeah, yes, uh, I have a wife, uh, mm. four kids, eight grandchildren. You? No, no family. So many loved ones you have. I suppose they'll all miss you when you're gone. Mm. Yeah, I suppose, you know, I never thought about it, but I, I suppose they will. Yes, I, I suppose they will.
Let's see you vote down that development grant now, Mr. Chairman. You were right. Into each life a little rain must fall. Hey, Pat, what's going on? Call 911! You got a mop off, I'll have to show you what that hole is for. Yeah, you should Life for you cannot Looks make like I'll have to show you again. Age. And her beauty was sold for an old man's gold. She's a bird in a gilded cage. Why, thank you. Yes, yeah, so very, very lovely. How about a private showing later tonight? Well, um... Well, while you're thinking about it, I'm gonna go see a man about a Clydesdale. Why do men think so much of themselves? He ain't like other men. He ain't, he ain't been I've never seen anything like that. What's going on? That's nothing. You should see the bruises down there. Well then, what time's tonight's private show? I have to go perform another number. Oh well, maybe tomorrow then. Time for our own private show. Now you know I can't tonight. Why not? It's my monthly visit. Oh, that's quite all right. It is? Sure, it's a three-ring circus and the show must go on. You Jekylls are all the same. So much faith in humanity. Always trying to improve the human condition. People are frail. Ingrid scars will never heal. I can repair hides overnight. Well, you got what you wanted. The wedding's postponed till further notice. And when I decide to bring you out of this, we'll get married. In the meantime, I'll keep myself busy. That no good tramp Ingrid was the perfect guinea pig to work out the kinks on you. Now, not all the kinks, I have to save some pleasure for myself. Only someone can make an Android battery that lasts longer than me. Here you go, Mr. Hyde. All cleaned up and some place to go. Come to Alana, you bad, bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> 